Shabbat Shalom. Welcome back to Take Time for Torah. This week is Parshat Maaseh. It's the last Torah portion of the book of Bamidbar, the book of Numbers. As the Torah, por- as the book began with the counting and the census of the Israelites as they began their will- their journey through the wilderness, so this week it ends again with a counting, an accounting of each of the 42 places they traveled to after they left Sinai and as they approached the Promised Land. Ele Maaseh B'nai Yisrael. These are the travels of the of B'nai Yisrael. 42 stops. Some mystically say that the 42 represents the letters of a name of God. Rambam, Maimonides, in his Guide of the Perplexed, teaches us that this proves that by indicating each of the 42 stops, that the Israelites could create a connection between themselves and history. And that connection is seen by us today because we know of each of the miracles that happened in those 42 places. Specifying the steps along the way, they help to create a connection between the past and the present and into the future. Last Shabbat, Hazan Myers uh, gave a Devar Torah Friday night, and he spoke about how the, uh, the travelogue is in a sense like connect the dots. Connect the dots from one place to another place to another place. You're not quite sure what the picture looks like, but you know that it's beginning to create a picture. In our lives, as we connect the dots between one destination and another destination, or one stop and another stop, we learn that our lives take different directions and, down, and go down different paths. Could I have imagined that I would be sitting here recording a YouTube video for all of you to share a few words of Torah? No. But here I am in July of 2011 using the technology and the tools that we have to spread the word of Torah from here to all of you. In a sense, this is, the, this is what it means by making a stop along each way and by recording those stops. This next week, I'll be traveling to Joplin, Missouri, along with a group of 18 other people as we help and volunteer our time. And I can't help but thinking about that destination or that stop along the journey of our lives and what what that journey will mean to us and what it can mean to the people that we're going to help. We may very well change the course of our lives and perhaps we'll find another way to go that will help us continue our work as individuals and the work of the community. The other issue, the other idea that I want to share with you is, is thinking about the destinations and the stops along the way and how they, they influence us. In a couple of weeks, I send my first child off to college. Not only do I send them to college, but I'm sending them to the college that both Sharon and I attended. And I can't help but, but be proud of the choices that he's making as a young man and what he wants to be involved in, and what he wants to study. And I can't help but think that it's because of our influence on him that he's making some of those choices. But I also can't help but think that if you had asked me 20 years ago, where would he go to school? Would I have said my alma mater? No. So I'm proud of him, and I'm proud of the choices that he's making as he begins to venture out into the world. And I'm sure some of you, along with with me, fell over our children and our grandchildren and what they accomplish because of the lessons they've learned. Shabbat Shalom. I will not be with you next week, so look for another Take Time for Torah in two weeks. Take care. Shabbat Shalom. Da 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 da